Hey everyone, it's Lee here, one of your three official festival bloggers for the 2012 Amani Wins Chamber Music Festival, and I'm here to update you on days two and three, because they were awesome. So day two was yesterday, Monday, and day two started with everyone getting their first official coaching, and mine was with Valerie, and it was really awesome, because she's super nice, but she pushes you really, really hard. Um, and with our group in particular, she instantly wanted us to be a tempo, no sight reading, uh, and it was really, really great, because she has our best interest the whole time, and the fact that she's willing to push us already on the very first day helped us get so much better that much faster. Then after that, we had a master class with the Manhattan Brass Quintet. And they were really, really cool because it was a completely different perspective. We're used to all, mostly woodwinds here. And so the horns were kind of in heaven with all the brass players there. And it was just such a big sound and really cool repertoire that they were playing. And they kind of touched upon how it is really important to expand repertoire for all chamber music because it's not really offered as much. So that perspective was really cool uh, to hear from them. And then we also had a master class later that day with a jazz improviser named Stefan Harris, who was really awesome. He plays vibes, and he talked a lot about the feelings that you get with different notes within a chord, and it just made a lot of things come together and make sense, and it gave us a whole new perspective uh, when we're listening to music, especially jazz, but other styles within the classical, which is really, really cool. And then day three started very similarly to day two with coachings, but this time my groups had Miriam as a coach, which was really, really fun because she's a clarinet player. It was a little bit stressful, but she's really, really cool. She's a little bit sassy. She adds a little spice to the rehearsal, which makes it really fun and goes by really, really quick. After our coachings, we had master classes within our own studio. So the clarinets actually had clarinet player David Krakauer come in, which was really cool because he plays klezmer music. And that's not all he talked about. He's world-renowned. He just came back in from South Africa two days ago uh, and came in to talk to us. And he did a master class. And we learned a lot. It was informative. Even just listening, I didn't actually perform in it, but listening to it, I learned a lot from all the advice that he gave about being creative and just going for it. It was awesome. And then as a whole festival, we had a master class uh, session with Edna from the Ask Edna blog. And... That was informative as well because it was all about career advice and different paths we can take and what we can do to get there and about getting a manager and all that good stuff that nobody really thinks about when trying to make a career in music. So obviously there's really exciting things going on at the festival this year already and it's only been three days. So to keep updated, keep it locked on this YouTube page for my video updates and be sure to follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can find our Twitter names right here, over here. And to follow the blog that we'll be posting to, you can find that link over here. So yeah, make sure you keep it locked right here for all the latest and greatest on the Monty Wins Chamber Music Festival 2012.